guys, it's Shayla again from Freckle Finance, and I just wanted to do a quick video comparing a credit union to a bank, um, as there are reasons that you could want to use one or the other and that they might work better for you, and I do not think that one size fits all, and so let's get to it. If you're new to this channel, make sure you click that subscribe button below. I upload videos on personal finance, financial independence, and lifestyle videos. As I stated, one is not necessarily better than the other. Currently, we have both a credit union and a bank account. Uh, we might be closing our bank account because the main reason we got it was to save, um, I think, half a percent or something like that on our mortgage. It must have been less than that, but it saved money on our mortgage and oh, we're under no obligation to to keep that account open, but currently we still have it open. So the big, big bonus about credit unions is they usually have low or no fees. Their monthly banking is usually free. Um, I know for us, we've got a certified check and that was free and that usually costs money elsewhere. Um, and there's just a lot of services that you can get that are way cheaper and hopefully you won't have a problem with this, but if you ever, you know, NSF, the fees are even cheaper there. So don't end us out, but if you do, credit union, the fees are cheap. Credit unions tend to have superior customer service. I don't have much of a comparison personally. I've barely ever gone into the bank or called my bank, which is Wells Fargo, but I have gone into the credit union and I've called the credit union and I've basically never had to wait. They were always very friendly. And so I, because it's, uh, you know, run, just by local people and it's a local company they they have to take customer service a lot more seriously because that's how their business thrives by like you know impressing local people because they don't have uh, you know a nationwide of people who are already <laughs> using their services um, but I really haven't had any issues so far with Wells Fargo in the customer service sense. I know that there's like a lot of controversy about Wells Fargo <laughs> that has gone on especially around the time that we got our mortgage but in respect to customer service, it's been good, uh, but the wait times have been longer when I've used them. As well, and I'm not sure that this would occur with Wells Fargo, but we were actually able to open our credit union account through email when we first arrived here. So we didn't have to go in person or anything like that, um, and it was super easy. We just emailed them the documents that they required. I'm not sure that that goes for all credit unions, but that went for the credit union we used. So a huge, huge negative to credit unions is that they do not have ATM machines as widely available. Um, I do know that for our credit union, they are part of a network of credit unions, and so we are able to use all of um, all the machines within that network, which you have to look up and figure out whether it is a machine, so that's kind of annoying. Uh, however, our personally, our However, our credit union personally has, I think, three free transactions on any machine at all. And so um, we've never withdrawn money more than three times in a month. So we were able to um, access our money free anyways. But that is something to consider if you're someone who uses ATM machines a lot and less branches. So there's that too. On to banks, which I've obviously already kind of covered a bit, but they have more ATM machines are easily accessible. And if you are someone who really likes to go inside and speak with a person, the bank, unless you have the credit unions very close to your house and you don't plan on moving ever, work a lot better because they're everywhere. I mean, my credit union is like nowhere near, like it's never been <laughs> near our house. Um, in either city that we've lived in, which are not near each other, the credit union is somewhere else. It was just the recommending credit union that we use. Um, but Wells Fargo, there's, they're all over the place. Banks a lot of the time have easier access to other financial services because they have, they're such a large company, they have other divisions, they might have a brokerage company that you can invest through uh, um, and stuff like that, whereas credit unions still usually offer financial things, but they don't necessarily offer the full range. So if you're someone who wants all your banking in one place, a bank might be better if your credit union's near you do not offer that. One major, major distinction, which causes a lot of this other <laughs> distinction, is that banks are actually for profit and credit unions are actually not for profit. And the reason that credit unions are able to be so much cheaper and offer all this stuff for a lot less money is because when you're nonprofit, you're able to pass on the savings to your customers. And this one I read online, I haven't personally experienced this myself, but um, it says that uh, banks can roll out better technology and better apps quicker because they are a larger network, uh, major companies, they have more employees. 
compared to the small credit unions. Uh, but personally, our credit union, actually, I think I like <laughs> theirs better, but um, that would be something to look into if your credit unions don't have great online banking or apps or whatever. But personally, um, I don't really like Wells Fargo's, so <laughs> that's just the way that is. So let me know in the comments down below any other differences I might have missed between credit unions and banks. Um, and let me know which kind you prefer to use and why. And remember that no matter what your financial situation is, have a great day. Bye.